Another thing you want to make sure you do with your new iPad is always go to the gear and make sure you sign into your Apple ID. And then once I put my password in, it's going to send a verification code to one of my other devices. If for some reason that iPad or whatever device, my MacBook, wherever it is it's sent the message to is not around, I can always do the didn't get a code. And you see that it gives me the option to send a text message to the phone number that's associated with this Apple ID. So then I'm just going to put in that code. And then I'm signed into my Apple ID. This is going to help ensure that my device is working correctly and that I'll be able to update my iOS when it is needed. Now it's going to ask me for my computer password. And now you can see I'm signed into my Apple ID. Something you want to make sure you do is you're going to make sure you go to General and go to Software Updates. And if I had an update, it would show up right here, but I'm going to make sure that I have turned on these two features. That way, anytime there's an update and the iPad is on Wi-Fi, it's going to do as many automatic updates as it can. Occasionally, Apple will have some big special update that you manually have to push to make it to go, but for the most part, you'll have a lot of these updates that will be taken care of without you having to worry about them.